Let's go over the components we'll be installing. First we have the hard drives. We'll be installing two IDE hard drives, each with connections for data and power cables, plus jumpers to configure the drives. More on jumpers in a later lesson. A serial ATA hard drive with connections for data and power. A DVD reader and a recordable drive with connections for CD audio, data, and power cables, and jumpers to configure the drives. The floppy drive, the video card, sound, modem, and Ethernet cards, two 512 megabyte DDR RAM sticks, processor with heatsink and fan, the motherboard, case cooling fans, the case itself with power supply, a power strip with surge protection, rounded data cables for the hard drives, CD, DVD drives, and floppy drive, one serial ATA data cable, and the CD audio cable to connect the CD drive to the sound card. The tools we'll need, a Phillips or plus screwdriver, a flathead or minus screwdriver, a power screwdriver is optional, needle nose pliers for getting into tight spaces or to retrieve dropped screws, zip strips to hold back and organize cables, and a parts container to hold the small screws while you're working and to store extras. When using a power screwdriver, be careful not to over tighten the screws. It's easy to strip the threads which can ruin the part. If you do strip the threads, try using another screw with bigger threads in the hole. To reduce the likelihood of this happening, hold the power driver very loosely, so when the screw is tight, the driver will slip in your hand. Under no circumstances use a power drill with a screwdriver adapter. We'll be putting together a mid-tower computer. It's the most common case type and is very similar to the majority of cases available. Let's remove the case cover. Most case covers are held in by screws, three per side. To remove the case sides, simply pull back. On some cases, you'll need to pull a latch to slide the sides off. Inside the case, you'll find a bag of screws. You can use the parts container to separate the different sizes and types of screws to make finding them later a little easier. There are two basic types of screws screws with little threads and screws with big threads. The screws with little threads are used on the floppy drive and CD DVD drives. The screws with big threads are used on the motherboard, hard drives, and add-on cards. There are exceptions, but the general rule is that if a screw doesn't fit in a hole, try the other kind. This case also comes with rubber feet for the bottom of the case and a PC speaker that will attach to the motherboard in Lesson 3. The rubber feet on most cases are there to keep the bottom of the case from scratching surfaces. Here the feet play a part in cooling the computer. The front air intake is actually under the case. The feet raise the case off the surface and allow the front fans to draw cool air into the case. To attach the feet, we'll set the case on its side and the feet just snap in. The power supply cables will be hanging loose in the case. Bring them out of the case to keep them out of the way until they're needed. If your case didn't come with a power supply and you've bought one separately, hold off on installing it until lesson 9. Inside the case we have space to install the motherboard, places in the front and back of the case to add cooling fans, three and a half inch bays for the hard drives and the floppy drive, and five and a quarter inch bays to install the CD DVD drives as well as a few cables at the front of the case that control the power and reset buttons and also light up the power and hard drive activity lights. We'll install these cables to the motherboard in Lesson 3. In Lesson 2, we'll install the memory sticks and processor onto the motherboard.